Level 16, known as J. Barry Mental Asylum, is a massive, abandoned mental hospital that stretches out infinitely and repeats itself in a looping fashion. As you travel deeper into the level, you'll notice that the building's layout keeps replicating, with endless hallways and identical rooms. The level is divided into four zones by MEG, Major Exploration Group Central Zone, Recursive Zone, Emulation Zone, and Novelty Zone. Central Zone. This is the main area where most people enter, and it contains a number of settlements and outposts. The buildings here resemble a brutalist mental hospital from the late 1960s, but some of the technology seems modern. This zone has a strange mix of outdated and contemporary features, like old electric appliances alongside calendars from the early 2000s. MEG has established a base here, and travelers often run into others in this zone. Recursive Zone, about a mile out from the Central Zone, this area has the same layout as the Central Zone, but without any settlements. It's mostly used for scavenging medical equipment and other supplies. The rooms are cleaner and more spacious, but fewer people venture here because it's more isolated. Novelty Zone. This area is located two to three miles away and features more futuristic architecture and furniture. It resembles a modern, cutting-edge facility, and the layout is more complex, with multiple floors and larger rooms. Very few people explore this deep, and it's believed to be the final part of the level. However, some think there could be more zones that haven't been discovered yet. The hallways in level 16 are pristine, almost unnaturally clean, with smooth concrete floors and walls painted in white or blue. The doors in these hallways lead to various hospital rooms, many of which are abandoned and covered in dust. Inside these rooms, you might find old beds, medical equipment, or even some useful supplies. Oddly, the windows show a bright, empty void, and some believe the windows themselves are alive. You'll also come across locked doors, which may require force to open due to blocked paths. Despite the hospital's ancient ventilation system, the air conditioning works and the temperature stays cold, ranging from 12 degrees Celsius to 21 degrees Celsius. The communication systems, such as wall phones, still function within the level, allowing calls to be made between certain rooms. There are eight floors to the building, including a basement. The basement contains old electrical wiring, machinery, and water heaters that seem to power the entire facility, though the equipment is in poor shape. It's advised to avoid the basement due to the risk of electrical shocks and potential pipe ruptures. The level is also dangerous due to its mental health risks. Prolonged exposure can cause schizophrenia-like symptoms, especially in people who are already physically or mentally weakened. These symptoms include hallucinations, paranoia, and confusion. It's common for affected individuals to lose track of where they are or believe they're in another reality. To manage these symptoms, travelers are encouraged to drink almond water, which can help reduce the severity of the mental effects. The level's history ties back to a real-world mental hospital, the Clement Memorial Mental Institution, which mysteriously vanished in 1988 after supposedly sinking into a sinkhole. Some survivors of this event, known as the Faced Ones, now reside in Level 16 and have established a small outpost. They continue to live and work in the level, offering medical help to travelers and arming themselves for protection. There are several types of entities in Level 16, including hostile facelings that lurk in the deeper, more remote areas. Wretches, who are humans driven insane by the level, are also a common threat. However, the number of hostile entities has decreased as more people have settled in the level. Travelers can find three main colonies and outposts here. MEG Base Asylum Archivers, a small outpost of 30 members who document and explore the level. The Faced Ones, a group of 11 surviving staff members from the original mental institution who offer medical aid to travelers. Uni Citadel Outpost Hospital, a team of 30 people who manage a cafeteria outpost where they trade food, drinks, and medical supplies. There are various entrances and exits to Level 16. Some entrances include traveling through hospital doors and other backrooms levels or sleeping in certain areas. Exits can be found by going through certain doors or hallways or interacting with specific objects like vending machines.